What's the one way you can actually tell if someone's emotionally intelligent? According to NASA, it's all about their laugh. As author Charles Duhigg explained in his book, Super Communicators, back in the 80s, NASA's search for astronauts for the International Space Station led them to an interesting discovery. The best astronauts? Basically personality hires, or, you know, also rocket scientists. At the time, NASA was having a lot of trouble with astronauts getting depressed and not getting along with each other during long space missions. And that wasn't gonna work on the months long missions to the International Space Station. So they started going through old job interview tapes to see if there might be something that the most successful astronauts all had in common. And it turned out it was how they laughed. Specifically, whether or not they matched the interviewer's energy. If she laughed big, they laughed big. If he just chuckled, they just chuckled. That kind of mirroring is a vital part of human connection and emotional intelligence. We've all been in the situation where we're laughing our head off and everyone else in the room is just kind of smiling. You feel dumb and isolated. NASA found that those who had a good sense of humor and were adept at that emotional mirroring part of laughing after, made not only the best astronauts, but the most resilient and harmonious teams of astronauts. NASA is now digging into similar research today as it tries to plan an eventual mission to Mars, which will involve years-long missions in cramped conditions. So, you know, being extroverted, agreeable, having high coping ability, which all tend to be highly correlated to a good sense of humor, emotional intelligence, and being adept at this whole emotional mirroring laughter thing, are going to be pretty vital skills to survive this kind of high-pressure, emotionally turbulent environment. So the next time someone tries to shrug you off as a mere personality hire, let them know that actually you're basically a rocket scientist. And the next time you want to assess someone's emotional intelligence, the way they laugh might be all the data you need.